It's the first game in eight days, second time that Marquette's had a layoff, and that's exactly what Wojo said was, uh, it's scary to have that kind of layoff, especially the last time they came back, they lost, but you got Marcus Howard, and he's capable of three with a chance for four, and capable of a whole lot more. Ball screen, nice two dribbles past the screen, moment of decision, splash. Unbelievable. Thought he's in the conversation for the best player in the country. Probably. In the Xavier days. In the Xavier days, yep. I like it. Go inside. There's Joey Hauser with a left. That's what they got to do. Around Davis. Jump is a nugget. Howard around two defenders. Joey attacks, drops it off. John hammers it down. Going inside off the dribble penetration. Joey to John. How about that now? A big guy. Howard to on. To Sam, off the bounce. John wants it. Give it to the corner for Adam. Theo John hammers it home. Got free from Jordan Tucker. Marquette within a point. Eight in the game now for Theo John. Bailey into Theo John. John, eight straight for Marquette, even at 37. I call a timeout now. Fumble about Jordan. Get a time. We're getting the fight and the intensity we expected the whole time. Exactly. He's going to Hauser. Hey! Okay. Plenty of time, Carter. He left alone. Howard has 17, which is on his pace. John on the Howard miss. Theo John cleans it up. More cat by double digits for the first time tonight. Possession for the Bulldogs. Got a score. Charge. Offensive foul. Baldwin push off. Adam draws the charge. There we go. Great D by the Golden Eagles. Want it, Carter. Joey Crump from 22 feet. You can make it, but that's not expected. Adam. Big one for the Golden Eagles as Sakar Adam gives Marquette its largest lead of the night. Alone atop the Big East standings, the Golden Eagles have now won 11 of 12. Trailed Butler by eight on three different occasions in this game.